Aloha y'all, welcome back to Pete's Treasures. Today we have a different type of video for you and I would love for your feedback to let me know if you like this type of video. We tend to not do a lot of shop-alongs unless we're at an antique mall because when I am thrifting, I am like in the zone, looking up comps, looking up brands, and I'm just super, super focused and I don't like to do a lot of talking, you know, in the thrift stores because there's always music going on in the background. So I thought, why don't I make a video of items that I almost got but decided to, you know, put back. And this will be kind of like an educational video, like so you can see current comps, brands that I look for, things that look interesting. And I don't know, I just really like watching this type of content as well. So here we go, here are some thrift items that didn't quite make the cut. Thrifted items that I put back. Enjoy. This was a super heavy vintage piece of office equipment or storage, I should say, from Lightning, or perhaps it's called Lightning, it's probably Lightning. <laughs> And I saw the comps were pretty good, but it's big and it's heavy and I just don't have room for it. But be on the lookout for this brand because they have lots of other smaller items. Uh, so yeah, here's a recent sold, pretty good money, but I'll leave it for someone else. I thought this looks different. It was Camelot Pewter, but it's monogrammed and personalized, so it won't be worth flipping. Always look for Ikea things. This kind of screamed Ikea to me and I've seen it before. It's an Stockholm flower like bowl and I love it but it's just kind of too big and not as lucrative as I would think. It sells for about $20 plus shipping. Cool find though. We all know about Cornyware's blue corn flower but I had never seen this broil bake tray. However at $10 it wasn't worth me picking up and it was missing the carrier but get it if it's cheap. These were beautiful olive wood bowls and I got them at the go out rack so I had to snatch them up but at $3.50 a piece I just didn't want to drop $10 on them. This is a recognizable pattern that I've seen a lot called the old curiosity shop and at $3.49 a plate it just wasn't worth it. If I were to find a bunch more at a cheaper price I probably would have grabbed them. This was giving me Gail Pittman Southern Living or Vernon Kilns vibes, but I had to remove the sticker partially so I could see what brand, and it's called Blair. And for $7, I passed on it, but this is a brand to look out for because I do see it sold for about 28 bucks. If only I didn't have so much artwork in my house. I love old advertising, but not for 15 bucks. And this piece was super cool. I think it's epoxy resin and acrylic paint. You can see a big scratch right there. Super heavy, but nice if I wanted it for myself. But for $9, I just can't bring in any more artwork. So I say, hi. We do pretty well with melamine bowls, but this one had no brand on it. So I decided to pass. Unfortunately, I had to leave this pink gooseberry Pyrex because for $3 it's a great deal, but it's so dishwasher damaged. Such a shame. Hi, Spice of Life. I thought this was beautiful. It reminds me of mermaids, but I don't know. I didn't know the brand. It looked kind of cheap to me and maybe flashed on. And I just had to show this cat's on the job. Let's take a quick cat break. Isn't that cute? Cat books are so popular. I can see why. Skipped it though. I skipped this caboodle because I was lazy and didn't want to reach the top shelf. Just kidding, it's a repro. Not vintage, but always like finding these. Homemade mason jar lamp with grapes and wine corks, anyone? Not for me. How kitschy. We have several items like this. It's called the dog, so I passed on it for $5. Um, 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 me love cookie. When I look at comps, Roxy brand is a little all over the place, depending on the item, and this was just too big, and for $13, I passed it up. Sparkle Farts. This has been here the past three times. <laughs> Not worth much. I just wanted to show you, this is where we get a lot of our plush at Thrift Giant, and I just hate how it's above and you have to reach. This is a vintage Walkman, oh my gosh, or a Discman from Audiovox. Not worth it, and this Xbox, of course, without testing it, 
no way to know if it actually works and it's several models behind um, especially for 40 bucks I did not want to get um, and this is a squish mellow which we have purchased before this is once again another one of those vintage uh, advertisements and I just thought it was cute um, I just had to show these off cute 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 and I loved this Jason jersey but eh, I skipped on it because it's very very popular and this was actually part of a costume without any of the other components now this is Gorham or Gorham crystal from Germany three dollars and forty nine cents was a little pricey because when I looked at the comps uh, they do sell and there's a lot listed but I would pick them up for a dollar not three forty nine and this is just a cute cut glass or a crystal votive holder and yeah I'd pick them up for a dollar because they do sell well good to look out for and I used Google Lens to look that up this is a dimensions latch hook kit which we like dimensions we mentioned it a lot for their sewing kits and craft kits but for 349 the comps were not that high unfortunately and this was a really cute little metal sculpture I wish the box wasn't beat up because I probably would have picked it up not a good turnaround though. Most of the time I flip over these melamine pieces to see if it's a good brand because sometimes it is, but this wasn't. I believe it was, you know, Dollar Tree or Target. And I'm just looking at all the little knickknacks. You see some fake coconut mugs and this little guy. Is that Elvis? Um, <laughs> speaking of Dimensions cross stitch kit, here is one. But I didn't pick it up because ones that look like this haven't gone for a whole lot in my experience and as a music teacher I always pick up instruments kind of gross because kids like to put it in their mouth <laughs> but this wasn't anything special to me so I left it and I just want to show you this is my place at St. Vincent's I always look because I have found a $50 frame here once and in this aisle I found my Rizzy print that sold for $800 and yeah, I would look up, you know, quirky t-shirts, especially ones with the tags. This was cute, but it didn't work out. <laughs> uh, this was a cute owl mug. Pier 1, which is why I looked it up, but it doesn't go for much. And for $5, this is kind of a modern looking vase. $7. I, I did like the abstract shape, the geometric shape. Um, I thought it was Jonathan Adler or something. But alas, it wasn't thought that was a cute little bear inside this is a plate that I have looked up many times and I always just leave it there Nucor is a good brand but yeah it's peeling off on the bag and it's kind of popular there's many listed we love Villaroy Bach and this is a cool piece but it's missing the saucer for the snack set and seven dollars was kind of a lot for that one piece now these I got a kick out of get it um, they are little stockings and I thought since they were vintage they would go for a lot and I thought I hit the gold mine But they are not worth anything Also, this struck me as something different and I'm glad I looked because it's Chanticleer Fitz and Floyd But for 350 a plate I would have liked it 350 for the whole set I'm just not gonna spend $14 on those and uh, here is a brand we show a lot Vernon Kilms I just recognize it. It's very popular in antique malls but it has these surface cracks and just not worth it. Name the brand. Name the brand. It's Longaburger. Very expensive though. They Thrift stores know what they have and they love to price it up. And look at that condition. Not very good at all. And for $13, come on thrift stores. Not in this condition. Now this next item reminded me of Benihana Tiki Mugs. And it's actually a Terracotta Warrior statue. Probably from Home Goods or something. I actually would have gotten it if it wasn't $13. And I think the little stick was broken. Speaking of, I picked this up because my brother didn't have it and I just got it. This is a classic wind-up metronome. And if you can hear it in the background a little bit, the beat was a little bit uneven. So that's why I didn't get it. Plus, I would have liked it a little bit cheaper. Good to find though. Good to look out for. Always test your products. This was a cute little Mickey bank, but it had some hairline cracks like you can see. And it was older because it said Walt Disney Productions, so look for that. But not worth much. 
And hello there, Jesus. Lenticular Jesus. I thought this was neat. They actually had two of these Cindy Brady's, but they're not worth much at all. Maybe six to eight dollars, unfortunately. Five dollars a piece. This was a vintage racket from Bancroft. I looked it up and solds were mm, not what I wanted. But cool to know because I love tennis. $3.49 did not come home with me. I really liked these peach luster wear clamshells, but for $3.49 each, I had to pass. I'd probably get them for a dollar. There's not much wiggle room there. And this Starbucks cup I thought was different, or tumbler I should say. And at $7 I had to pass because it's worth about $12 to $15. I love when Crystal actually has stickers on it so you can know the maker's mark, but for $2.49 this actually doesn't go for much at all. I was so disappointed. Beautiful though. As you can tell I'm really trying to find out more about glass. This is made in Poland and it's beautiful and a votive holder and unfortunately the comps that I found just weren't all that high at all. I think it's very popular. And this vase was really heavy duty glass. Also made in Poland, as you can tell by that label, but unfortunately I don't think worth much and it would be a pain to ship. We have showed this mid-century pattern a lot. It is Cafe, or perhaps it's pronounced Kathy, but it's spelled Cafe. <laughs> We've sold a teapot from it for a lot of money and I am inspecting these for chips and cracks and unfortunately each one had a little flea bite so I left these there for someone else to discover. I would totally get it if it was for my personal use, but not for selling. In fact, I have quite a bit of these pieces in my own personal collection because it's desirable yet not rare, rare. So yeah, here is another Pure One plate. I had never seen this pattern diamond fold and actually not worth as much as the other Pure One that we pick up. I thought it was cool though. And look, here is another Corning Ware blue cornflower. It was a pie plate, not worth it. Goldinger, I was surprised because that's a silver company, but I found a stack of plates and for $2.49 each, it just wasn't worth picking up. So at first I wasn't going to get this, but... All right, y'all, check out what I got from my best friend, James. He needed art for his place. This is actually hand painted. It's called Nine Crazy Cats and it was 15 bucks. Normally 150, I think, or 124. But I think it's so quirky and fun. I love it. <laughs> some people will love this, some people will hate it. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is a new style of video for us, so if you like and appreciate this content, please let us know in the comments down below. Please give this video a like and keep digging for treasure because you won't find it if you don't look. Bye, everybody.